Hi, Ruronis. This is your pal, RuroniK95 here. So today, I decided to do the 21st anime review because I looked back on my previous anime reviews since I reviewed 20 anime reviews. So today, I decided to do an anime review, which is the first Lupin the Third anime movie that came out in 1978, which is Lupin the Third, The Mystery of Mamo, also known as The Secret of Mamo, which is the, the first Lupin the Third movie, which it wasn't directed by Hayao Miyazaki, but it was directed by Soji Yoshikawa, who's known for the work such as Tomorrow's Joe, Combat Mecha, Exambung, Goal. And he's also a screenwriter for City Hunter, Guy King, Invincible Steel Man, Dytarn 3, Invincible Superman, Z Ambot 3, Cyborg 009, Future Boy Conan, Brave Riding, Armored Trooper Votums, as well as other anime like UFO Warrior Di uh, Apollon. And he also directed. He also did Loop in the Third Series 1, which is the Green Jacket series as a screenwriter. So let's. And we all know Loop in the Third is based on the manga by Kazuhiko Kato, also known as Monkey Punch, which is known for Loop on the Third Series. Because this anime movie was came, released on December 16th, 1978, and it grossed about. The budget about 50 million yen at the box budget, which it grossed about 915 million at the bo yen in the box office in Japan. So let's start into the anime review on F Lupin the Third: The Secret of Mamo. Inspector Zenigata travels to Castle Dracula to confirm the execution of his longtime nemesis, Arsene Lupin III. The body he finds is a decoy that is being used by the real Lupin to d flee from the castle. Zenigata travels to Egypt, believing that Lupin will raid the Giza Necropolis. Based on their prior thefts of immortality, granting objects his predictions prove accurate, but Lupin and his colleagues, Daisuke Jigen and Goemon Ishikawa, flee with the Philosopher's Stone. The stone was requested by Lupin's would-be lover, Fujiko Mine, who, having agreed to obtain the stone for a mysterious client, steals it from Lupin in Paris. The benefactor who calls himself Mamo discovers that the stone is a fake made by Lupin. In response, Lupin's gang is attacked by Mamo's forces before hiding their hideout, destroyed by his henchman, Flinch. Jigen and Goemon blame the hideout's destruction on Fujiko before quarreling between themselves. Lupin calms the others by promising to abandon his desires for Fujiko. With nowhere else to go, they travel toward the ocean before finding a house with food and water. A wounded Fujiko comes from, for Lupin, forcing him to go against his promise and causing Jigen and Goemon to abandon them. Fujiko drugs Lupin before Flinch arrives to take them to Mamo. Jigen later f returns to find Flinch's plane taking off, but retrieves a clue to its destination. He and Goemon are later interrogated about Mamo by American agents, but are released when they are unable to answer their questions. During their inquiry, the decide chipper Fujiko's clue, leading them to Mamo's Caribbean island. Mamo, a mysterious billionaire officially known as Howard Lockwood, tells Lupin that he manipulated him into stealing the stone as a test as he is considering granting him when Fujiko immortality and ad admiration of his skills and her beauty. Lupin, however, is more interested in the stone and searches Mamo's island for it. After retrieving the stone, he and Fujiko are chased by Mamo's henchmen until they stumble upon, across Mamo's lair. Mamo de deems Lupin unworthy of his, 
eternal life and attempts to visualize his, his perverted nature to Fujiko, and, but she refuses to abandon him. The USAF attacks the base, having tracked Jigen and Goemon to the island. Jigen rescues Lupin and Fujiko and seemingly kills Mamo in the shootout. While Goemon deals with duels with Flinch, the altercation and damages Goemon's sword, the Zen Tetsuken, causing him to leave for training purposes. Lupin, Fujiko, and Jigen travel to Columbia, where Lupin th th theory theory theorizes that Mamo have been gained internal life by in continuously cloning himself. Ah, oh, so the real Lupin the Third knows that Mamo is cloning Lupin himself. Funny thing, isn't it? Speaking of which, they are thrust into a vision by Mamo, who reveals that his cloning technique has kept him alive for 10,000 years and that is responsible for virtuality in every major event in human history. Mamo also explains that he cloned Lupin. He then appears in person to reclaim Fujiko and dis a distraught Lupin challenges him to perform a miracle. Mamo responds by sending off an earthquake, though, through the destruction of a nuclear power station. Inside a temple, Mamo explains to Fujiko that his cloning technique has never been per affected and that it ha he has degenerated from his original form as a result he decides that he and Fujiko must repopulate the earth and convinces her to push a button to launch nuclear missiles to achieve this end Lupin arrives and reveals that he rigged the missiles to explode before they could launch frustrated Mamo takes Fujiko with him to a launching pad and fends Lupin off with lasers. Lupin uses the tip of Goemon's sword given to him by Jigen earlier to deflect the lasers incinerating Mamo. A rocket ship emerges containing a giant brain that reveals himself to be the original Mamo. Lupin realizes that Mamo had controlled his clones, resembling his body just as the rocket launches into space. Lupin and Fujiko escape the rocket's trajectory, but not before Lupin plants on it an explosive on it. The glass shatters, and Mamo's brain drifts towards the sun. Lupin finds Fujiko in the rubble where he is captured by Zenigata, which is Lupin's longtime nemesis of the Interpol, because Zenigata wanted to arrest Lupin, because Lupin just gets away. Fujiko offers to help Lupin, but the Americans launch a missile attack on Mamo's base. Fujiko is rescued by Jigen, while Lupin and Zenigata... Handcuffed together, escaped on foot. And that's how you end this first Lupin the Third movie, where Zenigata and Lupin are handcuffed together, running in, down the slopes on each road. With the theme song to the anime Lupin the Third from 1979 that was used for the Red Jacket Lupin the Third series. It makes very sense, that's why. The Mystery of Mamo was originally released in Japan on December 16th as Lupin the Third. The film was a financial success, earning 950 million yen and making it the ninth highest grossing Japanese film of the 1979 season. Footage from the film, along with scenes from The Castle of Cagliostro, used stern electronics under the license from TMS Entertainment to make dr the Dragon's Lair style Laserdisc video game hot cliffhanger by the mid-1980s. TMS retitled the film in Japan as Lupin the Third, Lupin vs. the Clone, while English-speaking fans may had been begun referring to the film as The Mystery of Mamo to distinguish it from the two TV series and The Castle of Cagliostro, because Lupin the Third, Castle of Cagliostro, is the only Lupin the Third directed by legendary director Hayao Miyazaki, which it is very obvious, that's why. A TV broadcast of the film on March 20th, a, a, 
2014 on NTV attained an audience share of 11.2% into the Kanto region of Japan, and it was the ho second highest share of, for a movie broadcast during that week. To commemorate the 50th anniversary of the Lupin the Third franchise, The Mystery of Mamo received the, a limited theatrical re-release on Japan on September 1st, 2017, utilizing a newly remastered print in 4K resolution of 5.1 surround sound mix and 4D effects. The original English dub version of Lupin the Third was commissioned by Toho, produced by Frontier Enterprises. The dub, also titled Lupin the Third, and dubbed in 1979, was made for the JL flights. It was also available for the Los Angeles branch of, for, of Toho for booking to play at a local theaters at the University of California and Berkeley. It was host to several showings, which is Lupin was voiced by Tom Clark, Goemon was voiced by William Ross, Zenigata was voiced by Greg Starr, as well as the, the English adaptation of it has actors from the English adaptation of Speed Racer like Earl Hammond, Peter Fernandez, Connery Orr, and Jack Grimes. Streamline Pictures did have Lupin the Third, the Secret of Mamo, as well as from Manga Video UK and the. Jenny on Pioneer English dub of Lupin the Third, as well, which is it does make a lot of sense because the print was taken from the Japanese DVD was modified to remove unlicensed usages of the corporate logos. When Jinion was releasing the film on DVD in North America using an anamorphic print from the Japanese DVD. And now it's released on DVD and from Discotech Media on February 23rd, 2013. So that's going to be it for my anime review on Lupin the Third, The Secret of Mystery of Mamo. You guys, thanks for watching. But before we go, here's my quick thoughts. This is the first time I get to do a, an anime review by starting with the first Lupin the Third anime movie for the very first time. Hope to subscribe for content. My anime final link in the description down below. You can share this video on your Twitter and Facebook if you have. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Please leave in the comments on what are your thoughts on Lupin the Third, The Secret of Mamo, as well, because this is the first Lupin movie before The Castle Cagliostro, which is directed by Hayao Miyazaki. That's why. Be sure to subs click on the subscribe button. Become a subscriber to Ruroni K95. Feel free to join my channel. Be sure to click on my notifications bell button as well. Don't miss out on any of my previous videos that I uploaded as well. Because it makes sense. I reviewed 21 anime titles that I reviewed. Like, subscribe, favorite, comment, share. Favorite the video. And that's it. All I have to say. So keep it otaku for this anime review. Because this is the first time I get to review Lupin the Third, The Secret of Ma Mamo. Because, oh yeah, the music of Lupin the Third, The Mystery of Mamo is done by Yuji Ono. Oh, this is Ruroni K95 saying thank you. For watching my anime review, I'm glad you liked it. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope to see you soon, and have a great day, and have a good night. This is Ruroni K95, signing off, and thank you for watching my anime review.